so guys so i'm just come to snh laundry um to just talk to them about how they started their business sorry i'm just getting some stuff wait a minute okay so i've brought um this here a duvet and i've got a jacket and a top and my trainers that they're going to do for me also i'm gonna have a sit down chat and talk to them all about the business i'll see you in a moment this is s and h here we are there is the blue shop there on the highway there's a good indica indicator as to where the junction is <coughs> Yeah. All right, so let's say hi. Woo! Forgot to say, guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's Aisha. Here we are, Addy. And this is Sonia. They are the owners of SH. And I have brought today, like I showed you, I've got some things so I can show you how good everything is as well. Uh, Hadi has the same name as me. <laughs> Yeah, my, no, my middle name is Hadi, by the way. I've never even mentioned that. Okay, before. so I'm at S and H. Oh, laundry and dry cleaning service. Because I was going to say that, but I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah. Um, and that's really important because a lot of people, yeah. don't, they, it's only a recent service for over here. Uh, and some people actually go to Senegal. Uh, no! Yeah. Um, oh, that's wild. Yes. And wow. One, one of the girls who's had customer here, yeah. she actually lives where we live. Yeah. And she's so happy that, like, oh. normally she would travel all the way to Senegal. Stuff wow, so she brings so it all here. So, guys, you don't have to go to Senegal, <laughs> you just come to it's bitch that you're in still, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, because we're only going to the stuff. Yes, yes, because I've been there. Um, well, I did a video to just show where you guys are from the junction. So, anyway, sorry, um, guys, could you introduce yourselves? So, I'm um, Sonia Malthouse, and I am a co owner of SNH Express Laundry and Dry Cleaning Services. Mm. I'm Miss Hadesahna. I'm the co-owner of SN SNH Laundry and Dry Cleaning Services. Nice. So, how did you guys meet? Well, it was quite funny because I actually um, met. Uh, I actually wanted some laundry done. Right. And I heard that um, Hadi actually did laundry from her home. Oh. So I actually brought some bits to her, and oh. I was so impressed oh. with her work. Yeah. Um, and then she actually we became friends. Yeah. Um, and during our friendship, mm -hmm. she said, how about you rejoin Forces because, you know, I do this sort of from home and yeah. stuff and, and maybe we could do this as a business. And obviously, I don't know much about dry cleaning. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, that yeah. That's why I'm doing it in my own life. Yeah, same. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but I was like, you know, let's give it a go because obviously yeah. there's, there's more to just the business than, you know, the service. Yes, exactly. Yeah, business. yeah. So, yeah. I said, you know, we're best mates. Yeah. Um, and we get on really well, and why not? Oh, that's brilliant. So, yeah. so you have a business head then? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah I need to pluck your brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. So you were born and bred in Gambia, right? Yeah, I was born and raised in Gambia. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Yay. That's brilliant. So then, how did you learn? Yeah, how did I learn about the business? Mm. It's like, mm, no, I was siding for the business to do something because I was setting something for myself. Yes. Because I, always, when I was young, I yeah. dreamed to be somebody in the future. Yeah. Like, I say, I will do this, I want to have money, I yes. will do this business. And I was siding, like, quite a businesses, uh, many people are doing it in Gambia, uh -huh. and I was siding what to do, and I realized that only, uh, I know only one blonde in Gambia. Right. Yeah, then I said, oh, I have to do this business, yeah. I have to try it. Yeah. But I didn't have any idea with that. So yeah. I have to travel back to Senegal uh -huh. and learn, uh -huh. see how they do it. Uh -huh. Then I come back to the Gambia. But you must say everybody, I was telling people that I wanted to do laundry. They yeah. said, what? <laughs> Are you crazy? Yeah. <laughs> they tell me like, like this now. Yeah, <laughs> then I said, oh, wow, I will go do it. Even the like, the first place I got, I went to the landlord. Mm -hmm. The landlord had paid her like, Huge amount of money. Mm -hmm. He was telling me, "Wow, how do your business gonna work?" Yeah, <laughs> but, wow. But thank God for everything. Yeah. Then and then I started from there, but it's not easy. Yeah. I see like so many things, so yeah. many fights, so many challenges. Yeah. But always, that's my life. Yeah. I always 
follow the, the positive things, uh -huh. not the negative. And in the I, I, I say, I say, wow, this thing has to be happened because this is my dream and this is what I want in future. Yeah. Then I was fighting for it and it was going right smoothly uh -huh. until I knew this. And yeah. I see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And wow. she's working hard like for my life. Yeah. Yeah. And right now. I'm happy. Oh, yeah, how that. things are coming in, yeah. how the customers are coming, how yeah. people are getting to know me uh -huh. as a Gambian, how people are proud of me. Yeah. yeah. And I start to thank her too. Yeah. She gives me like yeah. joint hands. Yes. Yes. And she's a good sister to me. Yeah. Clean hearted. Yeah. We, we became a friend and I used to visit her yes. before we start this business. Yeah. 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 Because we yeah. were together yeah. for three and four months. Right. Yeah. Right. That's all I love that. I love that. So it's like you literally had your dream and you were like, not giving up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was having my dream. Yeah. yeah. And I said I want to give it give yeah. up anything. Yeah. Because I born in a house that we born like there is no running water, uh -huh. no electricity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like we suffer a lot and we yeah. respect by our grandmother. Yes. Yeah. But yes. I see all those things. Yes. Then what I My space just messed up everything. And Hadi, sorry Hadi, because she already listen, your story was so inspirational. Yeah. And I have to be hard to say again. I know, but um, your story as to how you you've gotten to this business is just yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Like, and I just love it. So sorry, we'll tell you again. Well, hopefully Hadi can tell you again. <laughs> for you guys, this is first hand, but for us, this is second hand. But anyway, yeah. Mm. So yeah, I'm Miss Hadi, and I'm the fourth one of SMH Laundry Service. Mm. Yeah, I set up this business. Mm. I set up this business, but because of why I set up this business is like there is not so many laundry stuff in Gambia. Mm. I was starting to do something in life. Mm. Always, I'm fighting for my dream. This was my dream, yeah. and I think that my dreams are coming true. Yeah, and I know that I will get everything I want yeah. with it. But I, I sat for this business. When I was starting for this business, then I was like, there is no so many laundry shop in Gambia. Yeah. yeah, and I couldn't go, couldn't get access to the other laundry service. Yes. I decided to go to, go to Senegal. Then when I was in Senegal, mm -hmm. they they trained me how to do the laundry guy cleaning and everything. Mm -hmm. Then I come back to the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Then I set up this business. Yeah, yeah. but. It wasn't easy at all yeah. to do things. Yeah. It was so many fights, so many challenges. Yeah. I see so many things. Yeah. Oh, today I will go. Tomorrow I say, I have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I have to give up so you almost thing. gave up. Yeah. But I said, no, wow. Yeah. Let me just pause it because this, this is what I want in life. Yeah. This is what I wanted to do. Let me just pause it. And I always like, that is my life. I always follow that positive things exactly. I don't follow the negative exactly. things yeah. but when I see the negative things I say wow let me just forget about it let yeah. me just even put it on my mind yeah exactly yeah, don't give any yeah. energy to it, to it. Yeah. yeah then I start to fight for it uh -huh. yeah until I make this amazing video yeah so it's amazing to me yeah. <laughs> yeah and by the time I explain everything to her uh -huh. and then she joined me yeah. then we begin to start oh, everything yeah. we, come be, we become a friend uh -huh. like three or four months uh -huh. yeah we were working yeah, all these things yeah, yeah. going out yeah. coming to my house yeah. I used to go to her house yeah. Yeah. So were you yeah. looking for a partner before? Or? Yeah, I was looking for a partner, uh -huh. but it's not easy to get a genuine one. Yes. Yeah, I was searching for a partner because I wanted to set a, comp a company. Yeah. yeah. And I wanted to set an example like a young Gambian. Yeah. You can do something. Yes, exactly. And it's not easy. It's uh -huh. very hard to uh -huh. set up this thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This laundry business is really, really very yeah, hard. It's yeah. not it doesn't come just yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. really hard. Yeah, I think yeah. sometimes when people see you doing well, yeah, yeah. they just think yeah, that it's yeah. it's that easy. You just yeah. happen to get it like yeah, this. No, no, when no. they weren't there when no. you were going through the sweat and the tears yeah, and the yeah. doubts and the yeah. ups and the downs. Yeah. And because she'd been trying for about two years. Oh, yeah, wow. I was been trying. I will say today it will go well. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I will say another thing. But like those things, when I was starting the business, yes. I know that those things will be part of the business. Yeah, yeah, already. Yeah, and I don't have any doubt on it, yeah. and I don't have any. I don't scared on it. It's always. I follow my hard work. So yes, that's I love that. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Yeah, because yeah. I'm very much a person that follows my heart quite a lot and my instincts and mm -hmm. you know 
it is hard sometimes to continue when something feels so difficult at a certain point. Yeah. But I love that, you know, you feel like you want it to be successful, so you were like, I'm not giving up. Yeah, I wanted to be successful. I wanted to come to come something in future because like I was raised off my, by my grandmother. My mother passed away since I was two years old. Oh, wow. And my grandmother raised us. I think we are like and we are three in numbers. Yeah. And my auntie four in numbers. Oh. We were and my grandmother. We were five in numbers oh, in the house. Yeah. yeah. And my grandmother was in single parents yeah. raising up. And we see her like she was working hard. Yeah. yeah. And we did not get any running water, electricity yeah. at home. Yeah. yeah. But I, I said I wanted to be something yeah. in future. Yeah. I wanted to do something yeah. Yeah, to my family. I love that. Yeah. So then true. I start to work, then like yeah. working hard for everything. Yeah. But thank God for everything for today. Uh -huh. It's not easy. I'm yeah. putting people down there. It's not easy. Yes. Yes. We just try. <laughs> we just try and <laughs> fight for our dreams. Yes. It will come true. Yes. Yes. And yeah. so, yes. She's supporting me yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm so proud. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really, really proud of her. Yeah. I'm proud of her. Yeah. She's really fighting for my dreams to come true. Yeah. yeah. We're here still, but we both work hard yeah. for it. Yeah. But you know what I love? The mm. Both of you have come together and yeah. you're realizing both of your dreams in different ways because yeah. you obviously moved to Africa. Mm -hmm which I assume was a dream of yours, possibly, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And then... I'm starting with the dream of my husband. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then, and then you had your dream, so mm -hmm. it's like you're both fulfilling your dreams together in different ways, which I think is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I'm think, feeling like maybe your grandmother was a really good role model for you. Yeah, because she was see, such a hard worker. Bad, yeah. yeah, so she really showed you the way to go, you know. So thank God for your, your grandmother. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm so pleased with the both of you because you seem to be doing so well. And as you saw, I dropped some things off. <laughs> yeah. And I just want to say that obviously with us, mm -hmm. the good thing is the reason why it kind of works is because you know Hattie's bringing lots of skills yes. and experience yes. um, from herself and her team. Yeah. Um, and obviously the stuff that's the other part of the yeah. business, which is like the HR, yes. marketing, yeah. advertising, yeah. accounts, bookkeeping. Yeah. So I do all of wow. that side. So, so how are you so finding that out? side? Because oh, it's, it's for me, I'm terrible at business. Oh. And I, obviously. I'm I'm not terrible because I am, I am doing my own business, but yeah. I'm not very. I don't. It's almost like you're just kind of doing what you feel you need to do yeah. and kind of moving along in the pace that you kind of know and have learned things in the. Well, for me anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if maybe if either one of you two have like literal business background in terms of um, studying it or maybe just having a business prior. Uh, or, yeah, I have. Oh. I have so I've got 25 years of experience. Well, there you go, like me. <laughs> so I've kind of done all of that yeah, as a profession. Right. So for me, it's like it's it's good for us yeah. because I do all that side mm -hmm. of that of the business. Yeah. Um, and basically, we don't have to pay someone yeah. to come and do those things for us because I'm skilled. Well, that's brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so it definitely is a really good combination. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you said you learned all of your skills in Senegal. Yeah. Yeah. So then, where did you find the people to help you? Because I assume you have guys people mm -hmm. in Senegal. Oh, all from Senegal as well. Oh, our team. Yes. Oh, yes. No, 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 no. Our no, team no. are. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Like you just like I just sometimes we get the workers here. Yeah. So some people stay, some people go. Uh -huh. We just train them yeah. and they just work in here. But we get good team now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we got yeah. our feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. We do yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. So what is your plan for the future? Expansion, expansion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think. You know, it's going really, really well. Yeah. We thank you all out yeah. there for that. Yeah. And those who haven't come to meet us and greet us and support us, do come. Yeah, yeah. We are not going to be disappointed, honestly. Yeah, yeah so. because um, I know um, our neighbour, he brought one of our quilts already and Mum oh was like nice. really impressed. And was like, oh my gosh, it was so packaged so nicely. <laughs> As she said, it was so clean. Yeah. So how many S and H's are we going to have? What's the future plan? The more the merrier. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we're fighting for something, you know, we still, we yeah. still fight.
fighting for something yeah, big. Yeah. Like we just set the example, mm-hmm. like in Gambia yes. and diaspora can work together. Yes. Yeah, and a two female lady yes. can work together. They can set a good example. And yeah, I, I like that as well because way. that's one of the questions I get a lot from my mm-hmm. subscribers. What do what do local Gambians think of diasporans? Do they like do they like us? Do they not? And I'm like, I don't understand why everyone has this. It's like this fear. Yeah. 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 I don't I don't understand it. So here you have it. <laughs> two people from different cultures, yeah, different right. locations. We all we get on. It's not yeah. It's not a big thing. Like seriously guys, so don't make it a big thing. But yeah, like you can see it here, it's a genuine, genuine business, genuine friendship. Um, and I am super inspired by your stories, both of you, because you come and you've built this, which is brilliant. And especially how um, you learnt this and you literally didn't give up. I think that is great. And you did it for yourself, like my top set. <laughs> <laughs> do it for yourself. yourself. Yeah, do it for yourself. <laughs> and you have done that, both of you. And I think that is really admirable. And I think you're going to be fantastic. Oh, and I think, you. like, literally, you know, now that I think I know. You're gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna see another shop pop up. And you know, I'm just glad that I was here at the beginning. <laughs> so I can say I know you both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. Um, Jerry Jack. Yes, Jerry Jack. I know I'm rubbish. I need to learn my word of more. Do you know what? With these guys, yes. I learn words and sense. It's something that we do. Oh. Like I'm learning every day and I make notes. So I'm learning. Yeah, I, that's why I don't need to make notes. I need to make notes. Yeah. 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 And I teach my husband and my little boy. And uh, I say, right, today I've learned this, I've yeah. learned that, and then we're learning it. Oh, I love that. Magnifique. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
anyway thank you thank you thank you for watching this video and i really do hope you enjoyed it i feel super inspired by both ladies and i'm so grateful that they allowed me to come into their business and show you um how they set it up and everything so anyway i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you in my next video bye guys bye oh and thank you so much to hadi and sonia thank you so much bye